Hi, I'm Chris Both here from ShikuiArt.com. Today I wanted to tell you a little bit about the Japanese plaster Shikui. Shikui has been used for over a thousand years in Japan. Um, and the plaster that I use is the same formula that they've been using for that long. Now traditionally it's been used on the structures of walls in both inside and outside. Um, used in traditional Japanese building techniques. Um, and they do do some sculptural things with it as well, traditionally in Japan. Um, they also embed plant materials into it, stones, plant fibers, things like that. Um, but I've been in the decorative finishing industry for 17 years and I've probably done close to 20,000 square feet of Italian polished plaster like Venetian and Marmarino, but a couple of years ago I found out about Shikui and uh, I really fell in love with it and to me it can do everything that the Italian plaster can do and more. And it's very versatile, it has really incredible strength. So not only do I do it Shikui on walls, but I also make artwork with it. I want to show you um, Today I want to show you Mitsumata, um, it's a Japanese plant and it's very very strong um, and traditionally it's been used in Japanese paper making and it's also used to make Japanese paper money because of its strength. And what I do is I, I actually take it and wet it and flatten it out um, under some heavy objects and then I embed these fibers into pieces of art. I want to show you a couple pieces. So this is from my series, series I call Fossil. And what this is, I actually embed these Mitsumata plants into the plaster. And First I laid a coat, lay a coat of plaster down, then I put the plants on top, and then I put more plaster on to sort of cover them up slightly. And then I, uh, after it dries, for after a number of days of drying, I sand them out. So you can see just a little bit of plant fiber, plant material in there. And then I actually put another coat of plaster, a smooth plaster called the Zumi on top, and I actually mix it with um, wood ashes just to give it a little bit of grayness make it look like it was found like these plants were found embedded in the stone um, it's got a really nice surface to it um, it's very organic looking and actually make it so you can hang it up you can hang it vertically or horizontally like this and these frames that I make are actually reclaimed barn wood and then I, I cut the wood and frame them myself. So my goal is to be like as efficient as possible when creating these, these pieces. So you can see they're slightly different. One has got this darker element here. It's Mitsumata, is just you can see more of it. And I plastered up to it on either side, the top and bottom. Now these down here are fresco, this one is a fresco painting. So what I did with this one is I actually mixed the shikui with some coal ash and it just gives it some real nice texture and it sort of grays it out a little bit. And then while the plaster is drying I apply, this is actually indigo, lime proof indigo that's um, mixed with lime water and then I paint into the wet plaster. So then when it dries, it's completely embedded into the plaster itself. Now this was for my forest series. I want these to look like a forest. And 
this one's also from the four series. This is the little spread apart. The sort of tree elements are spread apart. This one's not a fresco. This one's actually, I painted it with this shikui called Sora. And I used, I actually used the Mitsumata plants as brushes to paint with. So it gives like a real organic feel to all the pieces. And again, this is all framed and ready to hang. So if you go to my Facebook page, Shikui Art, or go to shikuiart.com, you can see all the different things I do. Thanks.